It costs big money to run a political campaign. Millions were spent on trying to convince us to vote leave. Donated by all these people, some giving small sums, a few giving huge amounts. This is the money that helped persuade the country to ditch the European Union. Two and a half years on, Sky News has been to see three of the biggest backers, a trio who provided millions of pounds to support the Brexit campaign. And what we heard from all of them was anger. Peter Hargreaves is the billionaire who gave the single biggest personal donation during the Brexit campaign, £3.2 million. Now, he thinks Brexit will be blocked. I don't think Brexit will happen. It'll, it'll go on and on and on, will this? And in the end, I don't think Brexit will happen. I think we'll, we will remain in the EU as we were before. And it will all have been misspent energy. Do you regret the money that you gave to the Leave campaign? Well, it does seem to me that it was, I was wasting my money. I, I, I couldn't have believed that if we won, I, we, we, we got the vote to leave, that, that people would just ignore the fact that the electorate had said we would like to leave. Banker Jeremy Hosking donated more than one and a half million pounds. Vote Leave described him as a true patriot. But now, like Hargreaves, he says he'd rather the UK remains in the EU than accept Theresa May's withdrawal agreement. Right now, remaining looks better than the Mrs May's deal, because with Mrs May deal, we will have lost Article 50. We'll be in a customised straitjacket with the EU. Whereas if we were to remain, we can look at the whole thing from a, from a fresh standpoint. Stuart Wheeler funded the Leave campaign with more than £600,000. He told me Brexit had been squandered. Bitterly disappointing. Um, Mrs May, throughout that period, has behaved as if we were the supplicant, as if we had to go begging the EU to be nice to us. Talk to most people in British big business and you do hear the same things. Demands for clarity, a fear of a no-deal Brexit. But these men are different. They spent millions backing the winning side in the referendum and they think they understand Brexit more than most. And when they look at the political process, they feel dismayed, perhaps betrayed, and they're in the mood to fight back. Peter Hargreaves says he'd now be willing to bankroll a new political party, one that would exist simply to push through Brexit. I honestly think there would be enough people who would vote purely for candidates whose main criteria was to get Brexit done. I'd get my checkbook out for that. You would? Yes. This is an important intervention. Hargreaves is keen and well-resourced. He's wealthier than Donald Trump and he's got support. We need to get the band back together or do you form a new band yes two and a half years after the referendum campaign they helped to pay for all three of these men vehemently opposed Theresa May's deal with Europe Brexit and what it means seems more divisive than ever Adam Parsons Sky News